This is how to uh, acquire or uh, get IOLIS personal. To log into IOLIS personal, when you are a new student, the registrar office, admission office, upon admission, they will email you or inform you of your IOLIS personal password and your ID number. So you can, this is how you go to IOLIS. You can just Google IOLIS personal. And then you go to this uh, link a.iolis.aup.edu.ph and then the, the ID number that the admission department gave you use that and the uh, enrollment key or the IOLIS personal password it is 6 digits if you are a new student and you you were not given you have an official receipt or you forgot your password you can click this uh, this link and you can enter one of the receipt numbers here you enter the id number your id number or receipt number you can also watch this video have a more detailed uh, instruction timestamp receipt date and your new iolis password and you can click that one if you don't have a receipt you can email me and request for a receipt or you can message me in facebook this is the this is the facebook okay so then i will communicate i will validate i will try to authenticate you and uh, make sure you are the person so that other people cannot hack into your account just make sure you're the person and we will uh, change or renew your iolis uh, password so this is how you log in yeah so this is how you get to your IOLIS. Uh. Now how do you do your auto DSF? If you want to enroll, instead of going to the DSF, you can click auto DSF. This is where you get load for uh, units and initial cough load. I don't have any payment here, but these are my settings. If you deposited money equivalent or more, then that of the required recommended uh, fees for the units you want and for the course you want from AUP website information then you might have like nine units here and you can just click accept computed unit load and uh, yeah I didn't go yet to the student services I didn't do my life book that's why it is uh, like this so you can also click your initial load for the cuff so uh, there are instructions here and conditions for each and uh, every kind of uh, problem. After you have loaded your units, or even before you have loaded your units, you can... Proverbs 12.21 No harm befalls the righteous, but the wicked have their fill of trouble. You can line up your subjects. You see here, you have no, there are no subjects or classes yet. You can add a class. For example, I want to enroll some uh, class or from ECE okay from this one and then uh, you click all of these agreements you click add and then it says you wait for your department approval at this point you can actually chat with your department chair if you want them to uh, to to process your uh, class uh, lineup Proverbs 25 colon 11 a word aptly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver so you can add more classes and just search like this one and add more a wife and of noble character Proverbs 31 colon 29 Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Okay, so you can add other classes here. And then after you are finished with your lineup, you can message your department chair uh, for the approval. That is after, but they cannot approve your units unless uh, the DSF has uh, given you allowed units. Okay, so that's how it is. That's how simple it is. If those are approved, it will show here that it's approved.
Okay, and then your department will tell you what else next to do. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.